bad sportsmanship. It happens all the time in racing, a lot more than you might think. There's been plenty of instances where you may not even know that it's bad sportsmanship. Well, in NASCAR, this happens a lot more than you might think. Drivers will lose their cool or lose their temper at each other and wreck each other on purpose or go face to face with each other after the race. In this video, we're going to be showing and looking at some of the worst NASCAR bad sportsmanship moments. I hope you enjoy this video. Remember to always like, comment, and subscribe. Enjoy. During the 2010 Martinsville race, Kurt Busch is nudged out of the way by Jeff Gordon. The next turn, Kurt Busch just puts the bumper to the 24 and hooks him into the wall on purpose. Oh, 24 just moved to two. He'll come back and give us a shot, cross us over, and he'll wreck us. Yep. Trouble on the front straight away. Kurt Busch turns Jeff Gordon around, and Gordon makes hard contact with the inside retaining wall. A driver who you never really see get into any confrontation is seven-time NASCAR champion Jimmy Johnson. But in 2011, did you know Kurt Busch and Jimmy Johnson had a long going feud? It all boiled over at Richmond, where the two drivers found each other on the racetrack. As the full moon rose, the stars came out to play. But two old rivals were no longer playing around. Jimmy Johnson goes for a spin, slides backwards into the outside retaining wall, Looks like the uh, 22 had the left front locked up there, Jimmy's why he got into it. Would he just get loose under the 48 and get into him? 22 and dump the 48. Kurt just dumped Jimmy. Uh, looked like that, but I don't know that he did it on purpose. But that caution we had earlier, where is that guy? Trouble in turn number two, Jimmy Johnson is around, Kurt Busch is around. What a jump, what a jump. Is that a five? Sure. Yeah, it is. I got your number. I got your number. How bad is it, boss? Yeah, we probably heard it this time. Take it to the garage. Take it to the garage. You want something to eat? Want a knuckle sandwich? Kyle Busch is known to be one of the most outspoken drivers in NASCAR. During the 2019 Las Vegas race, Kyle Busch was held up by a lapped car and hurt his points in the playoffs. He spoke about his displeasure in the post-race interviews. What happened there with the 53 um, there late? 52, get it right. Don't know. Or what happened there in the, at the beginning uh, of the race? I'm just here so I don't get fined. Any thoughts that you're going to a place where you won last time, last year, originally? Nope, can't pass there. You feel okay about your chances overall? Don't care. Does it help any at all that you have the bonus points coming in here? Out of this race. Just here so I don't get fined. Kozlowski, uh, he was upset. That's him walking over to Matt Kenseth, and, and Kenseth at the time leading blocking. Watch this. The two just break check the 20 right there. And here comes Dale Jr. He can't stop. Now he's hot. Watch, Chris, as they exit turn two, he's able just to close that door on Keselowski. He didn't run him out of room. He just closed the door. I think Michael McDowell up the racetrack. Oh, it's Michael oh, turned, just turned around Bam. and hard in the wall. Oh, just disrespect. And when you get when you get hooked into the wall, my hair looks terrible. Sorry, Mom. Um, when you get hooked right rear in the wall, it's uh, I've already I don't even need to see a replay. Look at that. Yeah, wow. One of the people say one of the nicest guys in the garage. Can't wait for the God fearing text that he's going to send me about preaching and praise and respect. What a joke he is. Way down to the inside comes Austin Hill, playoff driver who had had a bad day, was trying to make something out of it at the end. Took a very optimistic move down into turn number one, and here you can see gets into the back of Myatt Snyder, spinning him. Now, what's gotten everyone's attention is the discussion afterward. The two drivers appear to be having a discussion, and then what happens next? Well, we'll let you draw your own conclusion. NASCAR has seen this footage in the last 30 minutes and have told us that they are going to be talking to both teams and drivers about the incident that took place there. Chase Elliott has the lead. Diddy Hamlin on the attack. You in the 24. Pushing you. Push! Oh, Elliott spins! Oh, he just wrecked us. That's terrible. Yeah, that was pretty much straight up dumping him. Yeah, he definitely wrecked me. He checked up way early. Just what happened, what I think happened, or am I skewed? No, he threw one on your bumper and crashed you. That's what I figured. Temple, good to know, thanks. Kenny just wrecked the s out of Chase. Didn't even try to pass him, he just drove right through the back of him. Right with you. Inside, inside. Tight, all clear. 
with the beat fans on. Nice and smooth now. He can go wreck, didn't he? He definitely hit the wall. Nice side, it don't look bad unless he cut a tire. Tire's all good. He's got a left rear rub, it looks like. Not bad. We're still just racing the two who's fourth position back. We're good. Oh, he just blew a tire. Caution is out. Hang on to it. Hang on to it. We lost the right front or something, guys. You okay, Denny? Oh, my goodness. What's this point situation? Hold on a minute here. See how bad he is. This is killed. What the hell? How did he hit the wall? 24. Passed him and shoved him in the wall, and then he got a tire rub, and then it blew. Oh, boy. Yeah. Karma. Yeah, I'd say. Is he going to be able to keep running? No, he's done. Out. I think that if it comes to a spot still open on points, then he's going to get in. But that certainly he's going to look back and say, yeah, man, we did everything right, put ourselves in the right position, and then at the end, uh, somebody just pushed and shoved a little harder than he could handle. So, DJ, as hard as they worked all afternoon no, afternoon long, you can understand this frustration with Daniel yep. Suarez after the race. Oh, no doubt. I'm They're so loving. Thank you. Kyle Busch, driver of the number 18, double mint Camry. Rick, ready to win it again. Brad Keselowski, driver of the Penske Racing Dodge. Kyle Busch is an ass. Bubba Wallace. Well, he got to the line that he wanted to, so see how far Kenseth drives it in here. He couldn't get his slot, slide job Whoa. to work quite as good. It's a lot of contact, oh, though. Oh, no. There they go. Wow. That didn't work out for either one of them. Driving in, probably a little too hard. Tony not very happy. Whoa. Now, gosh, looks familiar. Well, we know what Tony thinks. Yeah, oh. I'm going to say that was help. Yeah. How do you do? Yeah. Interesting, uh, interesting spot to get help at Pocono. Big battle off of turn four here. The oh, and into the wall, wall goes Bubba Wallace. Oh. And he comes back across the track, tags the five. Oh, They're both in the wall, the caution down, comes out. Up. Up. The 20 car of Christopher Bell, here. Christopher Bell hard bottom. into the outside wall. frustrated NASCAR trying to get him calmed down the shot the five takes to the driver's door on the front straightaway is vicious I mean it's a it's a hit yeah I just I just can't I, I just can't that's not right I mean Kyle Larson clearly messed up and got Bubba in the wall and then a crash on the front stretch Carl Edwards and Cliff Boyer are in it came in 13 in the championship standings Ooh, Tony almost got in the fence. Then came down and got Boyer, and that took out Carl Edwards. Well, and obviously not festivities in a victory sense for Kyle Busch, but Kyle, how do you feel about the way uh, you were penalized for what happened out there? Not a word from him. Keeping his uh, mouth shut right now, guys. Uh, he'll think about it, I'm sure, and have a word for us. Excuse me, pardon me, I want to play through. Yeah, and here comes Kyle. Oh, he turns oh, he Hamlin. gets into Hamlin. Go low, come on, go low, go low. Look out, remember these guys have history from before, and he keeps it off the wall. I can sit here and bash him for the next 20 seconds or so and give you all a bunch of sound bites and everything. Um, but I'm just happy I signed up for next week's nationwide race. And, you know, and, uh, in turn, you know, there's a lot of guys that, uh, that owe him. Uh, there's a lot of guys that have a lot of chips that they're going to cash in. I'm just going to be the first of the pay window. You think that NASCAR needs to get involved with Brad now at this point? No, no, I'll take care of him. It's no biggie. I Looks like Kyle might get back out. He might stay on the lead lap here. He's out in front of the pace car, so it looks like Kyle will stay on the lead lap. I think they want us to give him a lap back, Dave. I said, boy, they're going to hold you one lap. They said we sped to keep from going a lot down. Bullshit! I went to my max of my light on the exit. And, okay, speed, maybe it was a mile an hour over, but it wasn't like it was 15 miles an hour over, like it was fucking obvious. 
They always get the last word, bud. We'll just give them, the, give them their lap. We'll get the lucky down. Fuck you guys. Huh. Well, I guess that's a little hand signal given the NASCAR official. <laughs> yeah, we will apologize Radio, for that. Remember the uh, little gesture that we had to apologize for? It's going to cost him two more laps. NASCAR is going to pull him in. Said unsportsmanlike conduct. That's freedom of speech. They're going against the constitutional rights of everybody. Well, oh, stop! Please! And we all work too hard for this. You're costing us. Bring it to Bill Road. Park it for two laps. Down into turn three. The 48 gets loose into the corner. You can see the back coming around. He has to chase the car up the track into the left rear corner panel of Denny Hamlin. Denny goes around into the wall. <laughs> How about that? And this is going to get interesting. Oh, oh, boy. Denny Hamlin not happy with the way Bowman raced him. Mark Denny, big, hard, big.